So we talked about Henry Ruggs. We talked about C.D. Lamb. Let's talk about Jerry Judy, number four from Alabama, wide receiver. Um, he's the route runner of the bunch. So we're going to talk about some of the uh, top tier route running traits that he has. He's one of the best in this class at it. Um, one of the best in the past few classes at it. But we'll cross that road whenever we get there. Um, we're going to talk about how he's incorporated in the quick game because he's also a yak guy, right? And it's funny because the top three receivers in this class are all yak guys, but they're yak guys differently. You know, Henry Ruggs is yak guy in the you can't catch me kind of way. You know, uh, 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 Lamb is a yak guy where you can't tackle me kind of way. And, you know, Jerry Judy is more of a slippery, quickie, speedy kind of yakky dude or whatever. We'll we'll take a look at some of those plays in a minute. And we're going to talk about his big plays and his big play speed. He is a speedy guy. I think he's uh, he's probably going to be uh, right in the middle. He's going to be faster than Lamb, but not as fast as Ruggs or whatever. Uh, but that's a cool little spot. But let's take a look at him at the bottom of the screen here. Let's just take a look at him highlighting uh, his route running abilities here. We're going to run the play, and we're going to come back. <laughs> oh, boy. In case y'all ain't know, man, I know it's a lot of people going to be new here whenever y'all watch this video. Um, but if y'all follow the channel, man, I love route runners, man. I love nuance, creative route runners. Take a look at how Jerry Judy sets this route up, bro. He's going to use his quickness, right? Quick feet, quick feet. But we're going to lead our cornerback uh, to the inside a little bit, right? We just want him to turn his hips just a little bit to the inside. Why? Because we're going outside. Right. So I want him to think that I'm going inside and, of course, put him in a bad position. And you can see the corner. Right. He starts square. But when but when we see Jerry with his quick feet and leaning us, just leading us to the inside a little bit, you see him kind of turn and just a little bit of turn. This slight little small turn. That's enough for Jerry Judy to explode to the outside. Take a look at him. He's going to tip, tip, tip inside and explode pow, to the outside. Right. Take a look at how that affects the corner. Right. He has to overcompensate and super react just to get back outside. And that creates a lot of space just for Jerry Judy to add another uh, add another attachment to the rifle here, man. Just to just to curl and stop route this thing on the inside. Now, if the ball was on the way, we would have been in good shape. Look at how much separation we've we've uh, we've created with just route running. Right. If the ball was on the way and Jerry catches it here, then Jerry probably could have got a couple more yards off of this thing. Uh, but instead, we had pressure in the backfield and the quarterback, not to it, but the backup guy, uh, the quarterback actually threw the ball away. So that's unfortunate there. But just look at all that space that Jerry Judah creates simply being creative in his route running, just creating that little bit of hip movement from his DB. Uh, interesting stuff, man. Let's take a look at this. Jerry Judy is going in motion here. Let's take a look at some more route running from Jerry Judy. I just want to check out the nuances. I just want to check out the nuances. Well, don't come out in the wash. We'll come out in the rinse. Check this out, y'all. So we know Jerry Judy wants to work towards the middle of the field, right? He wants to work a little bit towards these brackets. Uh, we need to get as many people away from this part of the field as we possibly can, right? That's how we're setting this up with our route running. This cornerback, he's kind of working to our outside shoulder, so that'll help us a little bit. But we still want to get him totally out of the way. Now, let's, let's just run the play just a little bit. And stop it here, right? Jerry Jude is going to work towards the outside. See see how he's working towards the numbers, towards towards the 30 there? He's working towards this to get this cornerback, not only to get him turned to the outside, because we're going to put him in terrible position, but we just want to open up this part of the field here. Imagine if this cornerback would have stayed square and he didn't work to the outside. Then he'll just backpedal, and by the time Judy goes inside, he'll still be square. So he'll be able to react and get back inside, right? But the fact that Jerry Jerry not only worked us outside, but we got him to turn like he turned his whole back on it. He turned his back on Jerry. You can't cover Jerry. What are you doing? You, you can't trust people like that. Just turn around. Stop looking at your coaches. All right. <laughs> he looking at Alabama sideline. What, what you looking for? Anyway, Jerry's going to work back inside. But this happened because we had to create that space. And it just happened that we got him turned. We didn't even have to get him turned because in the league, that cornerback might not turn. But I bet you if Jerry Judy's going to the outside, that corner's going outside with him. And all we needed was him to get back inside and that ball should be on us in a hurry and we've already created that space with you know just slightly working to the outside and a hard step back inside right da, 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 boom right there so uh that's another good job there by jerry finishing the run wait a minute <laughs> finishing the run there you go jerry boy jerry just sending my mans on a fantastic voyage man he's just going all over the place just take oh just take a look at him 
<laughs> just take a look at your boy, man. Hey, man, Jerry Judah as a route runner is so fantastic, man. And a lot of people get called great route runners because their routes are crisp or because they're sharp or because they're quick. I don't even I'll, I always consider them route runners, right? They're just a quick route runner. I consider a true route runner when you run your routes with some creativity. Uh, I always go back to Amari Cooper. People hate when I talk Cowboys when it's not Cowboys season. But, hey, man, like watch Amari Cooper and you'll learn something about route running. I did a um I did a video on on um on uh Cooper. He ran six slants differently. If you can make if you can make one route look six different ways, then you're a fantastic route runner. I think route running comes down to your um your um creativity. And if you have speed and quickness on on top of that to help then you're even more fantastic. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. We ain't got to be here too, too long. I just wanted to show y'all Jerry Judy in the quick game because that is a facet of his game where you can use him, right? He's not just an outside receiver. You know, you can line him up in the slot. You can do motion things. You can put him in the backfield. You can do whatever you want with him um, because he has enough speed, I think, to 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 make, you know, to kind of make things shake if you just get the ball in the ball to him quickly. Uh, just get the ball in his hands, kind of like so, right? And we know that, that the National Football League is moving into plenty of these concepts, right? Plenty of these concepts concepts like wide receiver movement and motion and things like that um even on this passing right here right we're relatively getting the ball to him to him quickly now your quarterback is late boy look i've been watching a lot of alabama film man and when Tua got hurt man the, <laughs> boy the product just looked different anyway the ball got to him late kind of on this mesh deal here but uh the ball did get to him so this is technically um quick game stuff here in my opinion ball gets to him and he gains just an easily easily gains like what an extra 10 to 15 yards just being dynamic but he's not just quick game guy right i know i showed you a lot of quick routes i showed you um you know just the the little quick dump off stuff or whatever but that's not all he is he's also big play guy he's also vertical downfield super speedy guy right what he what he'll do is he'll take all those all of those traits that we just talked about and you know the enzymes collaborating it creates a reaction and then next thing you know jerry jude is making big plays like this man big plays like this down the field right i think he had like 200 yards or something versus michigan right he he has those those big games um in his uh in his tool belt so let's just not let's just not profile jerry judy just look at him man good luck <laughs> good luck let's not just profile jerry judy as a you know oh he's a route runner so he's only gonna run short routes and get open on those little ends and digs and hitches nah fam he, he, he he's gonna stretch the field with you um i think what's so dope about it is that he plays inside and outside right like he's played he 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 ran this play from the slot right and he smoked it from the slot but he can also do like nine routes and things like that from the outside so just just something to keep your eyes on man just jerry Judy's fantastic now um where do you play him hey here's another example of him just smoking the defense he didn't get the ball here because you know quarterback play uh but he's just smoking everybody on defense here but where do you play him um i think that's the best thing about jerry is that that he'll be he's probably the best slot receiver in his class but he's also probably like the best outside receiver in his class right it just you can be you can be creative with him and check your boys up running routes again right <laughs> running routes again boom i'm giving you this outside step just to give you the image that i'm running slants right like like if he just ran a slant here he wouldn't be believable right if he just broke inside wouldn't nobody believe that but the fact that he started with the outside step just to just to further sell that slant just to get you to bite on it Oops, my bad. <laughs> I'm going back out. <laughs> oh, get off of me, kid. I hate that this wasn't a complete pass, man. I hate that backup Alabama quarterback. I hate that he couldn't connect with Jerry Judy here, man. Because Jerry, no, he did so much to earn this, bro. He did so much to earn this. He did three, three fakes just to get here. And now you want to be overthrowing Jerry Judy because you out of control. I got more plays. Let's see. I got some more. Let's see what I, let's see what we got here. Jerry Judy at the bottom of your screen. Big play, Jerry. 
Winning with route, pff, winning with route running, winning. Damn, winning with route running. Hey, y'all say that five times fast. Winning with route running. That's boy, that's, that's a tough one to say there. Let me move my remote out the way. Take a look at Jerry down bottom again, man. Putting up, putting all them trace together, man. Route running, quickness, getting off the line. Good luck jamming them. Good luck. Jam I, I heard somebody say, well, what if you just jam, jam Judy at the line? Well, he can get off of those, but you can also play him off the line of scrimmage. You can put him in motion. You can run him out of the backfield. It's a lot of ways you can get off jamming people. So we just can't look at smaller receivers and say, oh, let's jam them and we'll be fine. Nah, because he'll just run past folks. <laughs> he'll just run past folks. He'll set this route running up. Boom, boom, boom. What'd he do? Quick feet. Step outside, boom. He look, not only did he give you a step outside, but he gave you upfield outside. Then a head fake inside. Look, ba -ba boom, 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 just to get right back out. And then he's just gonna speed and run past you. 40, 40 time Jerry, chat box. What my what my what my combine nerds at this show time of year? Combine nerds. What's his official 40 time? Y'all let me know. But anyway, man, that's uh that's Jerry Judy. He's fantastic. Like I said, um the the rankings for me is not official until I make a video about it. You know, until I come out and say my official wide receiver rankings. I was talking to my bro Sadie Fresh. You know, last uh last year we did like a top 15 for receivers, but this year is so ridiculous. Like he said I might have to do a top 30, and I agree. I agree. We might have to do a top 30 at receivers because there's so much talent here. But um, Jerry's one of those guys that really separates himself from the other 30 guys with his combination of talents. Right. So, hey, man, J Jerry may be number one on, on some list. He might be number one on mine. It's not official, but it's real close. It's out of him and C.D. Lamb so far. Uh, and I think that's everybody's conversation that we're having. I've seen some people say, uh, oh, they're one A and one B. I think that's a lazy way to look at it. Give give a guy one, give a guy two. We don't do participation awards around here. You know what I mean? So I'll let y'all know whatever that whatever that is when I come up with it. Um, next film session will probably probably be uh, T Higgins from Clemson. So y'all stay tuned for that. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski and the Pisky Whiskey. Till next time, check out some of my live streams, man. Peace, y'all.